For over 100 years now, shrimpers in the southeast U.S. have been catching shrimp using basically the same kind of net they always have. Even so, very few people really know how a shrimp boat works, and even fewer have ever seen one in action. That's probably why we get asked so often, how does a shrimp boat work? Well, here's your answer in live action and living color. Once a shrimp boat leaves the dock, the very first thing the crew does is lower the outriggers. Just imagine how topsy-turvy a boat would be at sea with all that steel reaching so high into the air. But once they are down, a shrimp boat is as stable and seaworthy as any boat out there. The outrigger's main purpose is to keep each side of the nets as far from the other side as possible so they don't get tangled up. But they also help keep the boat from rocking too much as well. Once the outriggers are down, the gear that holds the sides of the nets open, which are called doors, are lifted off the deck with a system of blocks and cables and hoisted into position out of the ends of the outriggers. Those are the leg lines of the nets you can see attached to the door and, well, that's right, the next thing is to prepare the nets, which are first carefully unhooked and unfolded. A shrimp net is a kind of bottom trawl, a unique and very effective type of net that is towed through the water by a boat. Its shape can best be described as a flattened cone. One of the long or flattened sides of the cone is weighted such that it skims across the bottom. This is called the bottom line. The other long or flat side is called the top line and is fitted with floats so that it will hold the top of the front end of the net up and open. The back end of the net is called the bag, and of course this is where the catch collects. Shrimp go in the front end of the net and are funneled back to the bag. The last thing to do before putting the net overboard is to tie the bag lines. A special series of knots or looped half hitches is used such that it will hold the weight of the catch, which can easily be over a thousand pounds, yet can easily be untied even under the pressure of all that weight. We'll show you that in a moment. Okay, now the outriggers are down, the doors are hanging, the nets are laid out, and the bags are tied. So the nets are ready to be deployed. Watch how the doors begin to spread as they are lowered into the water. The doors hold the sides of the net open. Here's what they look like in action. See how the net lightly skims over the bottom? The chain in front of the net is called the tickler chain and causes the shrimp to jump off the bottom as the net goes by. Something else that many people don't know is that shrimp nets in the U.S. are required to be fitted with a TED, which stands for Turtle Excluder Device. This gear allows sea turtles to safely escape a shrimp net if they are ever incidentally captured. There are several types of TEDs being used today, and all of them were designed by U.S. shrimpers, and then tested and approved by the National Marine Fisheries Service but only after proving to be 97% effective at excluding sea turtles of all sizes. Additionally, trim nets must have a BRD, or bycatch reduction device, installed as well. Like the TED help sea turtles, BRDs help fish by providing an exit that the fish can escape through. After a tow, the nets are hauled in by a powerful winch located in the center of the boat. When the bags come aboard, they are usually teeming with fresh catch. Once the bag lines are popped, wow, now that looks like a good day on the water. Let's look at a few more examples of the daily catch from all around the Gulf of Mexico and over on the Atlantic coast.
Now all that has to be done is to gather up the shrimp and store them below deck. For more than a hundred years now, shrimp have been harvested using this type of trawl net and a shrimp boat, and over the course of the 20th century has become America's favorite seafood and one of its most valuable fisheries. Luckily, it's a very sustainable fishery too, since shrimp are an annual species, which means there's a whole new crop of shrimp every year. Here at the Southern Shrimp Alliance, we are dedicated to keeping our shrimpers shrimping for another hundred years. Educational efforts like this video are just a small part of what we do for the industry. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at how a shrimp boat works.